YouTube, this is DrawingKit1313, and welcome to episode 4 of my request installation series. Um, these mods were requested a while ago by a person whose name I forget, um, and I did make a video, however, I forgot to, you know, upload it. I uploaded it as unlisted and probably got distracted, so. Anyways, I'm going to remake the video because a lot of the mods have been updated, so, there we go. Today we are going to install Mod Loader. Minecraft Forge, Not Enough Items, Code Chicken Core, and Optifine for the JAR mods. And then for the regular mods, we have Raise Minimap, Buildcraft, Equivalent Exchange 2, Industrial Craft 2, Red Power 2, Thongcraft, and Timber. So, just like always, I'm going to um, I'm going to show you how to install these two different ways. One using MultiMC, and then the other using, you know, the, the usual way. So if you don't want to know how to use, uh, if you don't want to know how to install these mods using MultiMC, go ahead and click right here, and I will, you know, it'll skip to the part where I start you uh, installing them using the usual way. So now let's go ahead and get started using MultiMC to install all these mods. I'm going to drag this over into my other monitor and open up MultiMC. Hopefully it should start up soon, and we are going to delete this previous one that I had as EP4. Oh, cancel. Uh, remove instance. Something like that. There we go. Delete. Yes. Interesting. Mmm, quit. Okay. Anyways, I apologize for that. Uh, I guess I will not be deleting it. Instead, I will be adding a new instance, and I will just be calling this episode 4. Okay, so instead of EP4, we're naming this episode 4. Alright, so now we're going to click on our, um, on that little thing. We're going to right-click on it and go to Edit Mods. Here, if you have ever used MultiMC, you will notice that, you know, there's the jar, there's the mods, and the resources, which you pretty much no longer need. We are going to install the jar mods now. So make sure that you have these versions. You have Mod Loader, of course, for Minecraft 1.2.5. You have Minecraft Forge 3.3.8.157. I am not sure if this is required. I'm not sure if you can use, like, 3.3.5 or something. I just grabbed the latest version, so why not go ahead and grab the latest version? Um, after that, we have Optifine 1.2.5 HD uh, C3. We have Code Chicken Core 0 0.5.3, and we have Not Enough Items 1.2.4. So what we are going to do is we are going to highlight all of these and click and drag them into our little uh, window that we have right here. The order that these are in, it probably would not work because it will try to install mods that require other mods before it installs the required mods. So that was kind of confusing, but anyways, just put them in this order. Go Mod Loader, Minecraft Forge, Optifine. Code Chicken Core, and Not Enough Items. Whatever you do, make sure that Mod Loader is first, and Minecraft Forge is next, and then make that make sure that Code Chicken Core comes before Not Enough Items, or else things may not work. So now we're going to close that, and we're going to double click on our instance, type in your information, click Login. It's going to log in, download a new Minecraft, uh, a new .minecraft folder, and you know install the jar mods that we just put inside it. The reason why we're doing this, uh, you know, before adding all the regular mods, is just to make sure that everything works and, you know, that we don't experience any problems. Get this screen, we see that Optifine is loaded, Minecraft Forge, and Minecraft 1.2.5, and, you know, all that fun stuff. So, we didn't encounter any errors, which is nice. Now we can right-click on, uh, on our instance again, go to Edit Mods, and this time we are going to install the regular mods. So again, make sure that you have these versions. I have Raise Minimap 3.2 underscore 04. I have Buildcraft 3.1.5. I have Equivalent Exchange 2 version 1.4.6.5. I have Industrial Craft 2 client 1.97. I have Red Power pre release 5 build 2. Uh, all parts, same with Buildcraft, make sure you have all parts core, builders, energy, factory, transport, silicon. For Red Power, you have control core, lighting, logic, machine wiring, and world. I also have Thongcraft 2.1.6D and Timber. It says it's for 1.2.4, but it's a lie. It's really for 1.2.5. So you're going to highlight all of these and click and drag into your mods. This, uh, these do not really matter in what order you install them, so you can just leave them like that. Click Close, double-click on our instance, and click Login. 
Now we're going to see if everything loads up correctly, and hopefully it should. And it does. So you see, we can go into single player, create a new world, I'm just going to create a creative world, and just show you that everything is installed the way it should be installed. It's going to generate the level, and simulate the world, and spawn us on top of Red Power 2 Volcano, so there we go. We now know that Red Power 2 is successfully installed. This is a really big one. Wow. And if we look through our inventory, we will see that we do have uh, not enough items. We also have a whole bunch of stuff from Red Power, Build Craft, Industrial Craft, and Thom Craft. So there you go. We just successfully installed a whole bunch of mods using MultiMC, which is pretty cool. Couldn't be any easier. We just clicked and dragged and opened it up, and it worked. So now that you have seen how to install these using MultiMC, we are now going to move on to the portion where I show you how to install them the regular way. First things first, make sure that you have a vanilla Minecraft. I happen to have one right here. Just copy it here. I highly suggest making a backup of uh, whatever vanilla Minecraft you may have. It, you know, it just comes in handy. So now we are going to double click on our dot Minecraft and go into bin. We are then going to right click on minecraft.jar and open with WinRAR Archiver. With this method you do need WinRAR or you can use 7-zip, pretty much any program that allows you to open up a jar or a zip file or a RAR file. First things first we're going to delete the metainf. Once that is done we are going to go back to wherever we have the mods installed and make sure you have these versions, mod loader for Minecraft 1.2.5, Minecraft Forge 3.3.8.157, Not Enough Items 1.2.2.4, Code Chicken Core 0.5.3, and Optifine 1.2.5 HDC3. Once you have all those, you're just going to highlight all of them, and you can press enter, and it'll open up each one in its separate window. The reason why I do this is because then it opens up all these little uh, windows, and I can close them all at once. Makes it a lot easier. So now we have to install these in a certain order. First things first, we are going to do mod loader. Of course, I have to go ahead and find my minecraft.jar, and I'm just going to drag it to the side right there. Once you have modloader.zip, you've found it in your mess of windows, you can highlight everything and click and drag into your minecraft.jar. Once you're done with that, you're going to find Minecraft Forge. I have it right here, and you're going to highlight everything and click and drag. Press OK and it's going to do all that fun stuff. After that, you're going to want to install Optifine. I found it right here. Highlight everything, click and drag, press OK, and then you can exit out of that. After that, you're going to install Code Chicken Core. Click and drag, press OK. And then after that, you're finally going to install Not Enough Items. Click and drag, press OK. Now we're going to exit out of everything, as we don't really need it, uh, well we will eventually, but for right now we're good. And we're going to open up Minecraft, we're going to log in. And if you have seen you know, any other of my installation tutorials, you should know by now that I like to test and make sure that everything works after installing all the jar mods. That way you can make sure that everything works. So there we go, if you get this screen, you have done it successfully. You can quit game and go back into your .minecraft. You're then going to find where you have the mods installed yet again and go to mods. So again, make sure you have these versions. Raise Minimap version 3.2 underscore 04, Buildcraft 3.1.5, all versions, make sure you have Core Builders Energy Factory Transport and Silicon, Equivalent Exchange 1.4.6.5, Industrial Craft 2 1.97, Red Power, uh, again, all versions for uh, Red Power 2 pre-release 5, Build 2, Control Core Lighting Logic Machine Wiring and World, Make sure that you have Thomcraft 2.1.6D and Timber. It says it's for 1.2.4, but it's a lie. It's really for 1.2.5. You can highlight everything and just click and drag into your mods folder. You can say copy here just so that you have a fresh install of everything. That's what I like to do. And if you go into your mods, everything should be in there. Now we can go ahead and exit out of everything yet again, open up Minecraft, and hopefully everything should work. And it should because I tested this before doing it. So it's going to load, and if you get the screen, congratulations, you have just installed everything um, 
you know, being Buildcraft, Bonecraft, Industrial Craft 2, Red Power, and a few other ones that I can't remember off the top of my head. If you look in mods, you can see that all of them have been loaded. And then if we go ahead and just create a world, I'm just going to create one in Creative. That way I can show you that everything has been installed correctly. So after this loads, I will show you my inventory to prove that everything has been installed correctly. And there we go, we hear some chickens, let's go ahead and mute them. And go into our inventory, make this full screen for you. And we can see that we have everything. We have, uh, we have red power, we have the vanilla blocks, as usual. We have more red power, we have build craft, we have equivalent exchange, we have uh, industrial craft too, and we have spawn craft. So there you go, we can see that we have everything installed correctly, and congratulations, you have just installed you know, everything correctly, like I just said. So that about wraps it up for this installation tutorial. I hope that you have enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed it, and if this has helped you, please help me out by leaving a like on the video. If you have a set of mods that you would like to know how to install, you can go ahead and send me a private message via YouTube, and I will be sure to work on those as soon as possible. So this has been Drawing Kid 1313 with the Request Installations, Episode 4. Again, I hope you have enjoyed, and I will see you all later. Wrong button.